somehow I've just managed to pull these off my tripod. Like, I've never done that before. And now I've done it with like two of the legs. So I'm gonna try and put them back on and hope it doesn't like weaken it. Oh God. I literally have like not worn makeup for a while. I've just finished packaging some parcels for eBay. I'll probably post them out tomorrow. Hopefully everyone's paid by tomorrow. I've just given myself a paper cut as well with like my diary, so that hurts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a face mask on. My skin, like I was, <laughs> I was going to do a video about this, but like, I don't know, it's not really worth it. Um, so I'm just going to show you. So like, I keep getting so many spots around here and like on my chin, like, but mostly just around like my cheeks. Like I'll insert some photos now of like what it was like when it was at its worst because I've been trying so many different things, like what people have recommended, what I've seen online and stuff like that. And they say, oh, don't like keep changing your products and stuff like that, which can be quite hard as a female because obviously like it's fun to try like new products and stuff. I've tried not using too many products on my skin because I think certain ones irritate it because it's weird. So like, I think I'd be classed as having like combination skin. Probably shouldn't be showing my face online like this. Around here, I've seen improvements. I have got a spot there at the moment, but I think that's just like, <laughs> I think it's all hormonal to be honest with you. These ones are usually went like my time of the month ones, like all around my chin. And then these have been here like, <laughs> I'd say for at least a month and a half. So I did have an appointment with my doctor, well over the phone, which is a bit useless at the minute because like, how can you treat someone's it li it literally was at a point where it was acne like it was definitely acne and obviously i've inserted the pictures to show you that but i was he was like oh well i can give you some medication for it but like with him not seeing it i was a bit like yeah but is that is that the right thing to do sort of thing like obviously he knows best but i meant with him not seeing my skin like how can he judge whether that's going to be the best thing to do so i thought i'll try a few more things i got um like a steamer like a face steamer which i think has helped a bit to be honest like i can tell that my blackheads on my nose have kind of gone down but i'm left with like some of those you know like the lumps i have got a spot on my nose at the minute though i think it is improving i've been changing my pillowcases because people say like if you change your pillowcases a lot you know just if it's coming up on your cheeks then that might be the reason why but it's so strange because when i was younger i didn't really suffer with like I used to get them on my forehead, which I think a lot of teenagers do, um, but like I'm 22 now and to get them like so bad on my cheeks, like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why I'm getting them. So I'm going to do a face mask anyway, that's that's the long, long story short. <laughs> it's not very short though, is it? Uh, and I'm going to use the Himalayan charcoal mask from the body shop because they say this one's probably the best for like imperfections and things like that but i'm not too sure really um purifying glow mask this one i've used this one quite a lot to be honest um a lot of people rave about it but i think for me i've not seen that much benefit but i probably don't use it enough to be honest um i do enjoy it when i when i do use it um i did do a video actually about me doing the body shop i mean that's kind of not not doing that anymore but yeah uh, i might do a vid another video about that maybe it's not necessarily a negative like nothing negative happened but i just thought it's not really worth my time and people say it's like obviously a, a pyramid scheme which of course it is like i knew that when i was signing up anyway um but i just thought you know i didn't want to like shove it down like not shove it down the throats like shove it in people's faces if they didn't want it especially at a time when not many people have got much more income coming in so but my friend is doing it and she like i think she's doing quite well from it to be honest and so i joined one of her raffles i've never actually joined anyone else's raffles before because i'm out of a job not out of a job but i'm looking for a job after graduating my masters so i joined her raffle and it was it was a 25 pound spend one and i actually won that i only like um I only put a pound on so it was a bonus really i do i do love the body shop products it's just the whole you know doing it yourself for me it's not that like it's not worth it for me personally so yeah i'm gonna put that face mask on and then i'll come back and i think i'm gonna tell you what books i've been reading for the past few weeks because i'll tell you in a minute i just wanted to say as well so i was in tesco the other day and this mirror right so it was supposed to be 15 pound it's got um the leds on it as well the led light 
um, just takes AAA batteries. So I was in Tesco the other day and I managed to get this for £7.50. So at the minute, there's like a lot, I'm trying to like speak, but you can't see me because it's confusing me. Um, but there's so many half price products for club card members at the minute. So I'd get down there and have a look like for Christmas presents and stuff because say there's like a Bayless and Harding, I think it was a dressing gown and like a beauty set. That was meant to be, I think it was £45 and it was £22.50 for like club card members and they're doing it with like food and stuff as well so it's quite good and I've started shopping at Tesco again instead of like Aldi. <laughs> I've got it on, I'm usually really bad at putting it on because I have to do it without my glasses and I literally can't see anything without my glasses, it's not like in my hair. It doesn't matter if it's in my hair because I'm literally going for a shower straight after anyway so I'll just wash it off in the shower. God, <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'll wash it off in the shower. Right, so I'm going to go through some books which I've been reading over the past few weeks. I say weeks, these ones have probably literally been the past couple of like two weeks if that it's really nice because i've been able to read for like leisure instead of just reading for like uni work like it get you kind of fall out of like in the whole education life <laughs> like you kind of just read because you have to but it's nice to read because i actually want to read so i'll just i'll do it in the order i read them okay so this one the life-changing magic of not giving a Hmm. For me personally, I have done a review, a long review, I'm not going to go into it, but I'm just going to say I gave it 3 out of 5 stars because I kind of learned that I had already, I already don't give a F. <laughs> I'll just say F. I already don't care about a lot of like, a lot of things that shouldn't bother me. Like I, I thought, I said to myself, if I would have read that 5 years ago, it probably would have like given off a bigger message to me and have more of a lasting impact but personally for me it just it it didn't tell me anything i didn't already know to be like and i'm not saying that that should mean that it's not a good book because to someone else that might be like absolutely life-changing like you know a lot of people care about things that shouldn't bother them and i do i care about things that don't bother me still because like, you can't completely banish that can you like you can't just completely not care but yeah three out of five for that one the second one is another book by sarah and i and that one's get your together <laughs> right so this for me it was very similar to the other one and of course it's the same author it's kind of more about organizing your life before i read this i, I, I bought them as like a duo pack from tesco it was like 10 pound for both of them they're usually like 12.99 each and if i would have paid that i would have been disappointed like i wouldn't pay 12.99 each for for each of them so like 25 quid again this one i was getting to past half of it and i was just like i just want this to end now and i'm one of them people who has to finish a book like I forced myself to finish it and I probably shouldn't do that because it makes me resent it. I would have again given this one 3 out of 5 just because it would probably help some people. Bought it, I hadn't read it at all. But I was like, right, I'm going to clean my wardrobe out. I completely cleaned my wardrobe out, got rid of clothes I didn't want. Sorted all my dressing table, I say dressing table, I used like the top of a set of drawers. I had I've got like these drawers at the minute. Sorry, my throat keeps going really weird. I've got these drawers in like the other room, um, in like our pantry sort of store cupboard like you know where you can like walk into a cupboard just like one of those um i've got like a set of drawers in there like it's weird because me and my boyfriend live here in york and i've got like a i've got a house at home as well um where i keep all my stuff basically so i've got stuff in between everywhere really but i cleared all those out and then i started reading the book so it's obviously like you can do it yourself just just get it together you know what i mean like so again wasn't much help to me like I feel like it's unfair to say that but to me personally it wasn't much help so that's that I gave that three out of five as well right okay so this one I actually finished did I finish this last night I finished this yesterday so in the daytime so it's called the saboteur 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 you are the saboteur you are the saboteur oh my god saboteur saboteur the saboteur I actually can't remember how to say saboteur saboteur this one I really really did enjoy okay so this the only problem with this right okay is the fact that it was about a guy called Arthur Dodd who was a prison prisoner of war at Auschwitz um a British British prisoner of war in Auschwitz which to me I I had no idea that people in Auschwitz were from like Britain I had absolutely no idea so it's, like I'm not very like educated when it comes to history like i did it at gcse and that's about the only extent it goes to really and we kind of focus more on like the reasons for world war one and world war two i don't know if it's still the same sort of thing 
um not the reasons for it but like what you learn at school um and this like really opened my eyes like to how terrible it was for even like for the jewish people and for like the prisoners of war because although they had less chance of being like killed or well murdered by the nazis arthur dodd he went in at like i think it was like 10 and a half. my battery just died and i just realized i'm trying to like be serious with this mask on so just try and ignore that because i don't want to be like disrespectful in any way and I'm, I'm not being i'm just i literally just have this mask on because i'm about to jump in the shower and i just want to tell you about the books i've been reading basically so like i was saying arthur dodd he went into auschwitz at about 10 and a half stone and he came out at six stone and he had like health problems from being in there and things like that but the absolute extent he went to to survive is amazing and i don't want to uh, the reason i'm being very like vague is because i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to ruin the story like in a way like it's a true story um and he was in the cheshire regiment which is the county i live in at home well county i did live in when i lived at home um, I live in York now obviously so I don't live there now but um, I absolutely I did truly love this book and unfortunately Arthur died in 2011 and I didn't know that until the end of the book and I don't know it's the holocaust needs to be told to everybody like it, it even the children of, of like who are being born in like 2010s like they should all be educated about it because it's it's awful like it happened less than 80 years ago and it's absolutely insane to me and i'm sure it is to everyone else as well but it's absolutely crazy to me the fact that that actually happened the only problem with this book is i give it four out of five and the only the only reason i really give it four out of five is because after arthur's story they call i think they call it arthur's story yeah they call it arthur's story so obviously it is a true story but after arthur's story there's there's like other people's accounts and there's also like affidavits, the British government's treatment of survivors now. I don't think it needs that. Like, I don't think this book needs it. Like, it's quite a thin book. Like, it's not, you know, the text quite is quite a reasonable size. And yeah, it is a small book, but I also think that it deserved to just have half a story in there. Of course, like, it's just as important. Other people's stories are just as important. I read in the book as well that there was a previous version of this book. I'm trying to think of what it's called i can't remember maybe that didn't include this new stuff in it so i'm not sure about that but i really did i did love this book i loved it it just made me realize that even though things are really even though things are oh god it's hurting me i'm sorry um even though things are difficult at the moment you know with the pandemic going on and not me not being able to find a job and um just finishing my master's degree and not being accepted by any jobs it's nothing like it's absolutely nothing compared to what these people went through of course everyone's struggle is valid of course it is um even in the modern day you can feel awful for for no reason sometimes like and that's just that's valid for you to feel that way and obviously like seek help if you feel that way but like these people truly went through a living hell like the stuff they saw and i just can't imagine i can't imagine it I, I can't i can't imagine having to see things like that and the stuff they had to do and how they had to fight literally fight for their lives and i, I love the book so it's a four out of five for that one and then finally another auschwitz book which i don't know i think after reading that one i was just like i want to like hear more people's accounts of it as well um so I, this is the twins of auschwitz so um this one i don't i loved i love this one as well and i had heard i didn't realize i'd heard of the lady so it's eva moses core i hope i'm pronouncing that right i might not be and um she was she was a twin these twins so it's dr mengel i think it's dr mengel i don't know how to pronounce it but this one was awful as well like it just makes me think like imagine having to go through that like they were literally taken from their little village where they lived with the whole family they were in they were in a, a train carriage carriage it's not a carriage though is it they literally were about i think there was a hundred people shoved into one little carriage and they were they were they only survived because they were twins basically and they carried out experiments on twins like i want to read more about like the overall experiments of like all twins but Eva in this book 
and unfortunately she died last year but I think I've seen a documentary with her in it and honestly like it's crazy like she again was another very strong person and she kept her and her twin alive basically and well they kept each other alive but unfortunately the rest of her family was killed in the um, gas chambers but it's crazy how inhumane the whole holocaust was and it was less than 80 years ago it was in probably our parents and grandparents well it was in our parents and grandparents lifetimes a, a lot of us anyway i don't again i don't want to give too much away about this because it's basically about the experiments they went through not in too much depth the experiments because even to this day she doesn't know well she didn't know what experiments they went through so i think i'll give this one a four out of five as well more because i would have liked parts of it to have been a bit longer and that's just me being greedy wanting to hear more because the story was so captivating i literally read this one in a day like the font again is really big in this book and it's not that long but it was just an incredible story again so yeah i'll give that one a four out of five as well i mean i think for me giving a book five out of five i don't do that very often so it's not me like saying oh it's not very good because it's very very good and again i think there's been previous versions of this one so yeah so they're the books i've read over the past few weeks and i really have enjoyed them um the next one i think i'm going to read is i've got a few to read so i have it's called mum and dad i have the institute by stephen king which i think is what i want to read next as it's more of like a it's a it's a fiction one i don't read very much fiction i usually read um non-fiction so i think i'll read that next and then i'll probably read the mum and dad one and i also have another auschwitz one which is the tattooist of auschwitz and a lot of people have read this i know that again it's just so interesting and crazy and everyone should learn about it so yeah so i'm gonna now write in my diary just like some of the stuff i've sorted on ebay like the ones i've sold and stuff um and then i'm gonna go jump in the shower and wash all this off my face so yeah it's been a bit of a weird one this um but i wanted to upload again because um i finished my masters now there's no excuse <laughs> i'm just looking for jobs basically the the thing that really puts me off uploading at the minute is our internet here we can't get fiber so it's literally like the upload speed is like not even a megabit per second and that's ridiculous like to upload this it'll probably take me like a day which is stupid like it's just so stupid but yeah um and we can't get any better internet it's not like we're being stingy and not paying for the internet like it's actually impossible to get it because we don't have the lines going under so hopefully they sort that soon because we did get a letter saying like asking us whether we'd be interested and of course we'd be interested but we don't know how long we'll be in this apartment so yeah but yeah i hope you did enjoy it anyway um i've seen that i've got a few new subscribers so thank you for that if anyone's new here then feel free to subscribe as well um and i'll catch you very soon this time so yes i'll see you very soon and goodbye